Welcome to the first in a new series on trying out, where I attempt to deliver as much useful information about a subject relating in some way to the hobbies of animal care and terrarium building in the shortest amount of time possible. And I'm going to kick off the series with all about moss. Let's get on with it. In the beginning, no, oh, stop that, it's a serious video. In the beginning, that's better, for plants that is, around 1.2 billion years ago, the first algae formed in the oceans before making it to land 450 million years ago in the form of moss, the very first terrestrial plant. There are approximately 12 to 25,000 species of moss on planet Earth, depending on whom you ask. And they vary in so many ways that scientists can't decide on an actual number. Mosses are in the division of bryophytes that include liverworts and hornworts. Don't get them confused with lichen, that is another subject entirely. Mosses range in size from 0.2mm to 50mm and not all of them can be found where you think. Moss can be found in all climates and habitats. Did you know that you can actually eat some mosses? Don't try this though. Some mosses are poisonous to mammals that look like you. Mosses are a non-vascular plant that doesn't have roots as we know them. They have anchors called rhizoids at the base of their stem that terminate in leaves, or more correctly, microfills. As moss doesn't have true roots, it gains its nutrients from the surface of its microfills by photosynthesis, drawing in carbon dioxide and water and expelling oxygen as a waste product. Lucky us. There is a myth that moss likes dark, shady, damp places, and quite often this myth ends up in horrible brown moss because they don't have enough light. As you probably know, vascular plants mostly use red and blue light from the spectrum to assist them in photosynthesis. Mosses, on the other hand, have evolved to make use of the green light from the spectrum. This is thought to have occurred because of where they normally grow under the canopy of the forest or woodlands. The leaves of the canopy steal all the red and blue light and the green light finds its way deeper down to the forest floor where the mosses are found. What I'm saying here is your terrariums and enclosures must have a light above them for your mosses to stay beautiful and green all the time like mine do. Cheap white LEDs are perfect for terrariums for the simple reason that we don't want our plants and mosses to grow too fast. It doesn't make any sense to pay through the nose for a grow light to just to put above your terrarium. Besides light, moss are famous for needing moisture. Not just any water, rainwater. As mosses collect their nutrients through the surface of their leaves, they are very sensitive to the chemicals we put in our tap water. This not only slows down their growth, but it can also turn your moss brown and even kill it. Rainwater contains all the nutrients your moss needs to grow and reproduce but it also uses water for sex, releasing sperm when it rains that swims from the male gametophyte to the female to fertilize it. Mosses don't produce seeds, instead they produce spores. Stems, seta, grow from the tips of the microfills and culminate in a capsule. The gametophytes supply nutrients to these capsules as they have no capability to photosynthesize by themselves. Once they have reached their pinnacle, they explode, showering the ground with moss spores for new moss to grow. Moss prefers to sit on top of compacted substrate or hard rough surfaces where it can anchor itself down by its rhizoids. This is why it is common to see mosses growing on walls, concrete floors and trees. So if you intend to cultivate your own moss, you really only need three things to give it to attain the perfect growing environment rainwater, bright light, and something hard and compacted to grow on. And that was all about moss in under five minutes. I hope you find the moss interesting and enjoyable as much as I do, and I will be making more of these educational videos as and when I can. If you like this video, please like and subscribe, and don't forget to tickle the bell. I'll see you next time.